Hi, I'm Francesco, developer advocate at Deli.dev. Today we will see the feeds of Deli.dev. There are different ones. You can customize them, sort them by date, use tags, blocks. So let's see together how exactly they work. Let's start. I have a brand new account for Deli.dev and in this video we will talk about feeds. Can you see here at the top left this discover menu and we see popular, must have voted, best discussions and a search. So three of them are feeds and the last one of course is the search functionality. So let's see them one by one. The popular feed as the name implies it shows the articles selected specifically for you by the little dev. If you go on customize activate show feed sorting menu an option will appear here at the top right and it will allow you to sort the popular feed not only with the default method recommended but also sorted by date very good another type of feed is the most upvoted feed Upvoting is a mechanism used by Deli.dev to allow users to express their opinion on articles in a way similar to Stack Overflow and Reddit. You can also sort the articles of this feed by last week, last month and last year. And this is also a useful one. We have also another type of feed which is best discussions. It shows articles that have a high number of comments here and they can be either interesting or maybe a bit controversial. At the bottom of this menu we have the search functionality and of course you can search among other articles. For example docker and you see a list of docker articles or you can look for I don't know web3 here we go, we have a lot of articles, this is by another debit, this is by EDA, and you can also look for things like time management. And we have a list of articles, so this feature can be very handy. Okay, so now let's move to the most interesting part, which is this fuchsia button here at the top. Get the content you need by creating a personal feed. Choose tags. If you click this button, you can choose some topics, for example, blockchain, follow them all, and uh, DevOps. You can choose uh, where is Docker. Here we go. So I can select a list of tags, and once I've done this, we have a new feed here at the top. We have unlocked a secret feature. Your feed is ready. Click here to manage your feeds setting. Close it. Let's take a look. Okay, we have a list of articles and as you can see, they are either from the blockchain and Web3 world, but also some Docker ones. So I really like this feed. Let's see how we can customize it even more. If you click here, we can manage tags, so for example we can change or we can add some articles here, for example, I don't know, open source, nice. I also want to know more about open source. We have this advanced feature where we can filter some types of content. For example, if we are not interested about product launches, we can remove it and this is also a useful one. And last but not least, uh, there are the blocked items. Wait, before we continue, an important disclaimer. The tags and blocks are applied only to my feed, so they are not applied to the other feeds that we have talked before. Okay, we can continue. We can either block tags or sources. How do we block something? We are blocking something basically to filter our feed. So let's see that I'm not interested in AWS. I can click on the three dots here at the top right of a card item and I can say not interested in AWS, for example. I click here and here we see the blocked tags with AWS. 
if I refresh, I will, should not see any AWS articles anymore. If I change my mind and I want to see the AWS tags again, I can click on here, unblock tag. I can also block a whole source, for example, I don't know, Hacker News, I don't like it for some reason, and I don't want to show any articles from Hacker News. And here we go, we have blocked a whole source. To unlock it, just click the unblock source button. Yes, unblock. Okay, so this was a short tutorial on how you can customize your feeds for the little dev. We've seen many different ones and I think that this is a crucial part for setting up your daily.dev environment. You can sort them by date, you can decide to customize your feed, but please remember that using tags and blocks affects only my feed, which is your feed in this case. <laughs> if you have any questions, just drop them below in the comments and I'll reply as soon as possible. If you liked this tutorial, just leave a like and comment, and see you on the next tutorial about the little dev. Bye!